Fire safety. Fire, fire can be useful. We can use it for barbecues, bonfires, wood or fuel burners to keep our house warm, lighting candles. Although fire is useful, it can also be extremely dangerous. There are lots of ways to make sure we stay safe around fire. Lighters and matches. Lighters and matches are a simple way to start fires. However, they are not toys and they should never be played with. You should never touch, let alone use lighters and matches. If someone you know is playing with them, you must tell an adult. Candles. Before the widespread use of electricity, candles were usually the main source of light. Today, candles are often used as a decoration. Never leave a lit candle unattended. If you have to leave a room, blow the candle out. Candles should never be placed near an open window because a sudden gust of wind could blow the curtains towards the candle flame. This could cause them to catch fire. The kitchen. The main cause of house fires and fire related injuries is cooking. Here are some ways you can help people in your home stay safe in the kitchen. Never leave cooking unattended, whether the hob is a gas with a blue flame or electric rings. Food can start to burn, which can start a fire. Don't put metal objects in the microwave. Metal objects can generate sparks, which can start a fire. Make sure your sleeves are rolled up and long hair is tied back, particularly if you're cooking on a gas hob. Make sure items such as tea towels and oven gloves are kept away from the hob to prevent them from catching fire. Be prepared. It isn't nice to think about the possibility of a house fire. However, there are lots of things you can do to be prepared to stay safe. Ask the adults you live with if your house has smoke alarms. Fire brigades advise a minimum of one per floor. Smoke alarms have test buttons to check they are working properly. They should be checked once a month. Know how to make an emergency 999 call. After dialing 999, the operator will ask which service you require. Ask for the fire brigade. Try to give as much information as you can. Ask your family to have an escape plan ready in case there is a fire. If there is a fire. If you are in a fire and making your escape, stay as low as possible. Smoke and heat rise, so staying low to the ground will help you to see better and breathe more easily. Being in a fire can be frightening and it may be tempting to hide. It is important that you follow your family's escape plan and get out as soon as possible. Don't try to put a fire out yourself, even if there is a fire extinguisher nearby. Always leave it for the firefighters to tackle. In the case of a fire, get out and stay out. Never return to a building that is on fire. Leave it to firefighters to rescue anyone still inside. If you are trapped inside the house, go into a room with a window and close the door. Put blankets or towels at the bottom of the door. Wetting them first, if possible. This will stop smoke from coming into the room. Then open the window and call for help. If your clothes catch fire during your escape, once you are safely outside, stop, drop to the floor, roll on the ground to put the fire out. At school, a fire drill might seem like an interruption of a normal school day, but it is an important part of staying safe. When the fire bell sounds, quietly stand still. Listen carefully to your teacher's instructions. Sensibly and quietly walk to the meeting point. Stand still and listen as your teacher calls out the register. True or false? You should only use matches or lighters with adult supervision. False. 
Children should never use lighters or matches. Only leave lit candles for a short amount of time. False. Lit candles should never be left unattended. Fire brigades advise that a house has at least one smoke alarm per floor. True. Smoke and heat stay low to the ground. False. Smoke and heat rise, so staying low to the ground will help you to see more clearly and breathe more easily. If your clothes catch fire, remember to stop, drop and roll. True. Dropping to the floor and rolling around will help to put the fire out. If there is a fire extinguisher nearby, you should try to put a fire out yourself. False. Get as far away from the fire as possible and let the firefighters put out the fire. If you can't get out of the house in a fire, go into a room, shut the door and put blankets or towels at the bottom of the door. True. This will stop smoke from getting into the room. If there is a sink in the room, wet the towels or blankets. Candles should be lit near an open window to aid ventilation. False. A gust of wind could blow the curtains towards the flame of the candle and they could catch fire.